Graphics, Field Tooling, and Design Incorporated. We started in 1978 as a part-time backyard venture, and we grew until 1991. We were able to go full-time. And so in 1998, we were voted to be one of Mississippi's fastest 40, which is the first company that hit a million dollars in that time frame in sales. So we were very proud about that accomplishment, and then we began to utilize technology to continue to grow the company to where we are today. So we started basically in the backyard and grew the business over the course of the years and kept adding equipment and technology. And in um, the early 90s, we got into the CNC equipment with the uh, CAM software, the CAM programming, and made a huge step in our business. Now we have grown uh, to a several man shop and we've just purchased an F5 Makino. We saw a need to be more competitive, to be more accurate, and to have better deliveries. Our salesman had talked to us about Makino and its capabilities, and at that point in time it seemed unrealistic, but his, his description and expectations of the machine were reality. We bought the F5 Makino in April of 2012. <laughs> Shortly after that, the machine was installed in a very timely fashion. I think the install took a, a day and a half, two days max. Um, I was very satisfied with the install on the front end. Uh, I was very satisfied and impressed at the knowledge the guys had that installed the machine. And they were able to show me some things and, and uh, teach me you know, while they were going through the install. The high speed machining class, in a nutshell, was awesome. I learned so much in that class. Um, one thing that I really took away from that class that I didn't think that would be useful to me was we spent a couple days on the front end of the class talking about how the machine was built, how the casting was built, and, and how the X and Y axis are independent from one another and there's not a stacked error in the machine itself. We talked about the rigidity of the machine and how heavy it was, how heavy the casting was, and we talked about the closed loop digital scale feedback system that aided in the accuracy of the machine. Other things that we talked about in that high speed machining class that I thought were, were very helpful to me was high speed machining itself. Uh, in a nutshell, light cuts, high rates of speed. We did tool path calculations, we did tool chip load calculation, feeds and speeds calculations. Also in that class, we were able to go to an actual machine and use the actual machine and have hands-on training where we were actually cutting steel. We learned about shrink, shrink in tooling, shrink fit tooling, Heimer tooling, tool holders. And so there was a, there was a lot of information in that, in that class. And, and also I was able to get a binder with all, those, all that data included to where I could go back and reference and, and look at my notes and, and everything was just laid out and was so informative and helpful. Now this F5 has enabled us to hold some incredible numbers and do some very meticulous rib features and detail that heretofore would have been done through the conventional methods of EDM. I expected to have just a glorified three axis CNC machine. That's what I was expecting. I, yeah, I was expecting it to be to be able to hold some tighter tolerances. I was expecting it to machine and get some better finishes and things like that. But I had no idea of the capability of this machine. Since we've had the machine on the floor, uh, we bought that thing to do accurate three-axis machining. Um, we have some existing customers that we were going to be doing this work for. However, uh, these customers have friends and they move about. And so after they move about, then uh, we've been able to tap into other organizations and companies that have similar products. So that Makino has opened doors for us that we didn't even know were there. This machine is extremely accurate, extremely precise, and has just blown my mind as, how, as to how precise and accurate this machine is. What really matters to us is um, I'm a little bit, we've been old school, and what really matters to me is that person out there on the production line 
that needs a job. And if we're able to repair a mold, then she comes to work in the morning so that she can provide for her family. What matters to me is being able to take care of my customers because my customers have faces and children.